Hello, party people. Welcome to Brag and Drag with Corbin D. Um, today is July 15th, uh, 2022. And today we uh, have been given the update for the Menagerie or the March of Empires Zoo as run loose. Um, <clears throat> so here's a little video of what it is, how to use it, um, instructional video keep in mind today is day one i don't have every answer uh, on hand uh, i'm just going to share what i can what i can tell you for anybody who is trying to figure out why there is now a line down here between profile and lottery so let's jump right into it click on the menagerie uh, starting at the top it tells you the level the level is like any other building level um, and if you click on perks, it kind of looks like the faction temple um, or the royal uh, barracks. Um, you see that as the levels go up, these will unlock at level two. All common animals gain plus one daily actions. You are limited uh, to four actions per day um, to start out. That'll all go up. And uh, you see that this goes all the way up level 30 so there you go uh, look those over peruse them you'll understand uh, what they get the perks what they are why they're good for you all right when we come down here then we see the next bar here is licenses the licenses are required to attain any one of the uh, animals in the zoo and uh, you start out with common as with everything else in the game, it goes common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary. The only legendary animal right now is the African lion. All right, you click this little chevron here, the or down arrow, and you'll see the different types of food that you can get. There are 20 types of food, of which five of them are exotic. Six of them are exotic, I'm sorry. Six are exotic, and the exotic food increases your chance when leveling up the animals. To level up the animals, it's a chance system. You will have to use resources to take a chance at it. Um, it won't always level up. It'll become increasingly more difficult to level up, um, requiring more and more resources. How do we get resources? We'll cover that in a minute. Um, but understand this is how you can tell how much of anything you have at any given time uh, as far as leveling it up. In order to level up, you'll need the resources and the licenses. The so license to acquire, actually just license to acquire and then the resources to uh, level up. All right, so let's close that. Uh, we'll start out with the uh, common. Uh, now there are three types of animal hunting which is go out and get that food so you can level things up. Assist, which you can uh, attach to buildings to help you assist. And march, which you put on your attack or attacking marches. Um, so you have to have the right animal type to assign it. Uh, you can't just have, uh, have one and assign it to anything. All right, so let's start out here. The Greyhound. Greyhound is a hunter. As you can see, every one of these uh, perks is um, <clears throat> required for hunting. Because food is required to do anything with the zoo, with the animals, you need to get a hunter to start with. Uh, the Greyhound is the first you should get, uh, even though you might be tempted to get the elephant first. Get the, get the Greyhound, do your hunts, uh, gather some food, start off there. All right, the donkey. This is an assist, uh, and this boosts your lumber mill. Uh, if you're new, starting out, it's probably worth it uh, at some point. If you are established in, in an older realm, this is probably fairly worthless. The camel, gather, army load, march speed. Okay, so these are your um, you know, th these, these, uh, probably worth it to get some March speed if you want to, uh, increase that. Um, 
the the order in which you acquire and upgrade animals is going to be up to you. Just do gather first and load up on the resources. Uh, understand that that's the most important thing to start with. An elephant. This is a march, and this goes um, damage to the horses or mounted squads, as if there's some other mounted squad than horses. Uh, you can gain 50% siege attack, so that is uh, useless, uh, and stun in the middle of opposing battlefield for one round. Okay, so the question came up to me earlier this morning, what, how many rounds are there? Understand that every time that you are in attack, there are rounds happening. If you watch your battle replay, every time that your unit attacks or gets attacked is a round. It's just like any other fighting game uh, mechanic, there are rounds. Okay, so that's how those work. Um, in order to acquire these, you have to have the licenses. I've got some licenses. Uh, I don't, you need 20. Uh, how do you acquire licenses? Uh, there was a daily gift today of 10. Uh, you should be able to get 10 um, in your daily quests. My daily quests haven't reset, so I can't get the other 10 to acquire that guy. All right. Uncommon, you have the gray wolf. This is for hunting. Um, it's, you know, obviously hunts faster. Uh, the initial time frame is 30 minutes. So as you get uh, the, the higher level hunting animals, you will uh, be able to reduce that time. This is 10% faster, so 27 minutes. Okay, three extra pieces of food. Uh, some wild veggies. Okay, so those are all hunting perks. Go Gray Wolf. The Tavern Cat. This is all to do with your tavern. Uh, gain 50% gold. Or plus 50, not 50%. Plus 50 gold when it finishes assisting at the tavern. So you can acquire this and just um, assign it to the tavern. I'll show you that in a minute. 50% uh, resource reward and royal lottery tickets. So leveling up the, the old bar cat is probably uh not a bad idea and illusion horse so the horse here adds power to your cav and mounted squads uh, this is a march you assign it to your march um, you'll gain 100 percent march speed at level 15 um, and level 20 is health so the horse is gonna uh, is really gonna help uh, once you can acquire it and upgrade it All right, the leopard is another hunter. Each, each level appears to have a hunter. Um, there you go. Again, once you can acquire it, it seems like a good one to get. It will um, re reduce the time again. So you get another, you probably get down to like 25 minutes because uh, it's 15% faster. Um, and you'll get nutritious meat, which is, uh, it should help increase your level up chance when you go to roll the dice to level up. Black Bull is for food capacity. This thing is 100% useless, worthless. Um, you can assist and get 90% upkeep, so that will slow it down. You might as well, even if you're maxed out, you might as well assign it to your farm. Um, and then that way, if you do forget upkeep or upkeep runs out, the rate at which your food is being expended uh, will be significantly reduced. Um, so even if you've got a ton of food, it's important to, uh, to assign this. I don't know how soon I would upgrade this, but work towards it, not gonna hurt. And the brown berry is a uh, March type, and this is more uh, overall. So the brown bear, my opinion, I'd do the brown bear first because it affects your entire army uh, rather than just one troop type. If you don't want to do that, don't do it. I don't really care. I'm just telling you my, my position is anything that affects every unit in your march is better than affecting just some units. All right. So now we get down here and the, uh, the hunt animal for... Uh, epic is going to be the golden eagle. There you go. All these little plump chops and those things are your exotic food. So um, that's going to be nice. Um, and so that action. So each time you send to a hunt uses an action. This has four actions. So 
uh, there's a 1% chance that your action will be refunded, giving you one more to use this on. Okay. And the Wild Warthog, this is going to be swords. Uh, swords, stunning, um, you know, damage uh, uh, on the flanks. So, again, just another uh, march perk. Swords, Warthog, swords. All right. And we've got the African Lion. This thing is all to do with factions. Um, it is the highest. I assume, you know, you're going to send factions with almost every one of your attack marches. So this is really going to help. Um, and uh, I don't know. Personally, I'm not going to try to. I'll acquire. It's the only one in the. Legendary, so I'll acquire it as soon as I get some legendary licenses. But other than that, I'm not sure why uh, why it's all the way up there. And then this one here, I'm not even sure what that is, but it's some sort of filter. All right, so uh, those are the, the perks, the licenses, the food. And we come down here and look at the food. There's your nutritious meat. Just an example of uh, one of the perks said we'll acquire nutritious meat. That's because it's exotic. So you can see all these brownish red are exotic. The other ones are, are just regular food types. Um, and then uh, these are all the animals you can acquire. Oh, so once you max them out, you can acquire a star level. And that kind of reminds me of uh, Clash Royale if you play that. All right, so... Oops, there is no stone. All right, uh, the food. Here you can assign animal assistance. This is where you get the uh, upkeep. Uh, was the bear, I think? Somebody. I forget who had the upkeep, but this is where you would assign it. Um, the donkey goes on the wood tile. You can assign him here. Uh, I don't have it unlocked, so if you don't have it unlocked, you won't have any animals that assist traits for this building. So there you go. All right. Uh, this is the tavern, you can assign right there. That's for our plus 50 gold and uh, the other tavern perks. All right, now we come out to the map. All right, so there are different levels of tile, uh, starting with exceptional as the highest. Uh, they're all, this little fox shows where the tile is that has the hunting perk. So you see exceptional here. So if I had an animal, I would be able to go hunt here. Um, and the different types uh, are, you know, just like regular resource tiles, lumber, stone, um, iron, and food. And it tells you where they can, uh, where they can be found. Um, and exceptional has the highest yield. So you should be able to go hunt on an exceptional tile and get the most food as a, as a result from it. And once you hunt on this, it'll degrade from exceptional to plentiful. And then from plentiful to rich, rich to great, great to fair. And after you gather or hunt on a fair tile, it'll disappear. And these new tiles will appear every six hours. So every six hours, new tiles, it degrades one level every time you hunt on it. Since you only have four actions, you might as well hunt exceptional because it has the highest yield every time. Um, as, as more and more players acquire animals and more hunts are being performed, um, it's going to be key to jump on the exceptionals as soon as you find them. They'll be like the equivalent of gathering on a level 10 tile versus gathering on a level 1 tile. All right. Um, so then you get down to hunting. Uh, if you wanted to attack, this is where you assign the, the march animal type right there. Um, I don't have any, so, but that's where you would assign it within your march menu. Okay. Um, and so the level up system is uh, a chance system. It will require resources. You can upgrade your animal. Upgrading your animal will upgrade your menagerie. Um, and it uses the food 
and exotic food using it will use it the exotic food will increase your chance that it upgrades um and i think our friends hapuki uh and i forget the the lady's name but they said that if you fail i think four times in a row then the next time you try or you run out of um chances then your next chance is 100 percent. so expect that to cost um you're probably going to look at uh, acquiring licenses through the gift that we all got today, your daily tasks. Guaranteed, there will be a pack that is going to sell licenses. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and that's what I know. And uh, good luck out there. Enjoy your zoo. And uh, remember, this isn't Planet of the Apes. This is March of Empires. Good luck. March on.